Hey everyone, this is Corey with Casual EDC, and today I'm going to be giving you my long-term review of the TRM Atom. We are exactly one week past the one-year mark of me owning this knife, and this is by far one of, if not my favorite, EDC knives that I've ever had, and that I really never plan on getting rid of. So, without further ado, let's get into the review. I'm going to start off by bringing in some size comparisons, just the normal Benchmade bug out, which we're going to set right on top here, and the Victorinox Cadet, which is your 84 millimeter model. So setting these up as close to pivot to pivot as I can, you can see that it is larger than both the Victorinox and the bug out here, but it is not substantially larger than the bug out. A little bit more handle, a little bit more blade. Uh, definitely a full-size EDC knife. Let's get these guys out of the way here while I go over some specs for you. We're looking at a overall open length of 8 and 3 sixteenths of an inch, a closed length of 4 and 11 sixteenths, a thickness of 0.39 inches at its thickest point, and a weight of 3 ounces. And the weight can go down even more with things like micarta, or carbon fiber, so very nice and lightweight. Uh, going into the blade, we have a three and a half inch blade, uh, flat ground 20 CV with a 0.09 inch thickness, so a very thin blade. Uh, this is the same thickness as the Benchmade bug out. As you can see, very thin blade on the bug out, very thin blade on the atom here, and an even thinner grind on the atom very very slicey hopefully i can kind of get you a view of this you can see that is very thin very very thin behind the edge uh, this cuts extremely well um, let's go over some of my favorite features about this knife besides obvious things like performance as i said 20 cv super thin grind high flat grind uh, this thing cuts like a dream so i don't think i have to really go into depth about good edge geometry and blade geometry that this is a hell of a slicer right here one of my favorite things about trm knives that most of them do um i say most now with the introduction of the shadow the atom the neutron the nerd and i believe the other models that came ahead like the atlas and the uh, nomad all had swappable scales and what i mean by that is that you see these two screws here on the show side and then the one screw and the pocket clip on the uh, clip side uh, they can be removed while leaving the pivot in place so you can swap scales so right now i have a set of blue terra tough scales from match anderson here that I have on hand that's the only spare set of scales I have but they make a ton of options for the atom and the neutron all sorts of different colored micartas g10 uh, some of this 3d wing pattern which is more of a contoured scale a lot of flat options with g10 micarta carbon fiber uh, there have been a, a huge number of different scale options in the past and I, you know, I couldn't even begin to tell you all of them. Uh, they've worked with G Carta as well, which is uh, made by Greg Hansen. It's a, uh, it's a type of micarta. It's made differently. If you want to look more into that, just look up uh, J G Hansen uh, G Carta, and you'll be able to find uh, some more information on that. But yeah, scale swappability, super big plus on this allows you to really make it customized to your liking. I really love this natural micarta. It's one of my favorite handle materials. And right now my Neutron is out on loan, but I have contoured natural micarta scales here for the Neutron for when it gets back. But like I said, lots of customization available. Uh, this has titanium liners and titanium backspacer and clip. So if you wanted to anodize, you are free to do so. That will not void your warranty. Uh, they are a very uh, forgiving company when it comes to warranty, things like that. As long as you're not really modifying mechanical parts, uh, they'll probably cover you. So 
always worth shooting an email if you have questions but uh yeah you can see this clip has a ton of wear but titanium clip titanium liners titanium back spacers uh t and then titanium thumb studs as well something i have done to the thumb studs here is thrown some o-rings on there so we have some teal o-rings i think they just look good with the natural micarta splash of color i like teal as a color so works out good for me um one of my biggest things about this knife over so many others is just how thin it is everywhere really as i mentioned at the start 0.39 inches at its thickest point this is a super thin knife in the pocket you think about it and the clip is hanging out hanging out of your pocket that's all there is to the knife it is thin it hangs out of the way because of the profile you can imagine if this is straight down in your pocket it's going to cant more to the right it's very easy to get things in and out of your pocket i carry my cell phone in the same pocket as my knife all the time and i've never had any issues getting to it uh, with the atom in my pocket super thin and of course that 0 0.09 inch thick blade tall flat grind super slicey i already talked about that a little bit a few minutes ago so i'm not going to get into it but crazy cutting capabilities and very easy to carry between the deep carry clip and the thinness of this guy so oh, your action here is on phosphor bronze washers uh, this is like i said has been carried for over a year now and not daily over a year but this has been this had long stretches of time of five to six days in a row of being carried per week uh, this has been the dominating knife in my pocket since i've had it really and the phosphor bronze has broken in wonderfully uh three and a half inch blade like i said so there's a little bit of weight coming down just to press that lock give it a little shake and it falls right shut if i do this right that's hard to do under a camera but i can depress the lock and swing my hand and get this to close itself but it's not going to do it right now but you can see very very smooth easy to spidey flick just lock up is solid very very good thumb stud action just super satisfying overall now I've talked about the thinness of the profile, the action, the blade, and um, one of the other things I want to mention with the blade here, uh, 20 CV steel. If you don't know about 20 CV steel, it is an American-made steel. This knife is 100% American-made, by the way. I should really mention that. Uh, everything that TRM uses is sourced from the States. So if you are from the States, like I am, this is definitely supporting your home country in every which way small company using other small companies to get materials yeah we can all get behind that right but anyway 20 cv it is an american steel it is essentially chemically equivalent to m390 so you get some really good performance out of this uh, i've sharpened it probably three or four times total and that may sound like a lot but i like to sharpen my knives a lot um not necessarily because it needed an edge but almost always because i thought i could get it sharper more than anything when i was still learning on the kme um this has taken wonderful edges every time and 20 cv like i said great steel and they do a really good heat treat on this uh, let me just click on their website really quick i have my laptop up here to see if they listed the uh hardness on here uh, i'm not seeing it so no worries there but uh yeah they run they run these knives pretty hard but not crazy hard that you can't sharpen it. The 20 CV is wonderful. It takes a really great polished edge. Of course, I have a polished blade on mine that is not uh, standard from the factory. You're gonna get a stone washed blade. Uh, this was a blade show edition from 2018 or 2019. Uh, I think 2019. Uh, this is a two dot version. It has a blemish, which you can see towards the front of the knife here, which uh, right in front of my finger, in the light here you can see there's a bit of a discolored spot on the blade that's what makes it a two dot that gave it a little bit of a cosmetic blemish they uh, occasionally will sell two dots for a little bit cheaper and uh, they're always nice to pick up if you can get your hands on one which these knives can be a bit of a pain to get their hands on i know that um, i was lucky enough to score one of these off a drop 
And then this one in particular, I bought from a member of their Facebook group after I sold my first one. Um, I didn't really like the knife with the flat scales on it, and I didn't look enough into it to realize that the scales were super easy to swap, or I would have just kept my first one. But I sold it, and then immediately regretted it, and I bought this guy, and uh, have never looked back since. It's uh, just a great, great knife, and speaking of their Facebook group, um, really great customer service, which you can see evident in the Facebook group which is uh, Tycoons Really Matter on Facebook, TRM, another play on the uh, the abbreviation for Three Rivers Manufacturing, is also going to stand for Tycoons Really Matter on Facebook. Um, the owners and a lot of the employees are super active on there. Um, so you have Marianne Halpern, who is the owner. She and her husband, Les, are the owners of TRM. And then you have... Hillary and Jennifer, who also are very active on the site. And uh, Hillary is always running what she calls her games, which are usually either chances to purchase items or giveaways. And they happen weekly, sometimes twice, three times a week. Really cool, really awesome of them to do. She also takes care of shipping orders and things like that. So if you're reaching out to customer service, you're probably talking to Hillary, and she is really awesome. She'll take care of just about anyone with any problems and the best that they can over there. Um, if you're looking to get a TRM, uh, their Facebook page under the FAQs, question one's always going to tell you when they're available. Next, uh, at least a general time frame. They don't give an exact day and an exact time, but they'll give a exact date with a time range uh, for when a drop might be happening. And the Facebook group, people resell all the time in there. And there's a 20% markup rule. It might be 25%. It's uh, it's There's a rule, though, so nothing can be crazy priced. You're not looking at a Atom with G10 scales for $300. Uh, it's just not going to happen on there, which is a great thing to see. But, yeah, I mean, I can't say enough good things about this knife. It's super thin, super slicey. It carries really well. It's got great action. It is everything that I want in an everyday carry knife. Three and a half inches is plenty of blade. Like I said, it gets super thin. It cuts through anything and everything. And it's just awesome. I don't know how else to put it. If you've never handled one of these, I really suggest you, have, you uh, try one out. Whether you get to purchase one or just get one on loan from somebody or have a buddy who owns one, you gotta give a TRM a shot. Whether it is the Atom or the Neutron, the uh, little brother, the slightly smaller version of the Atom with a three inch blade. They're both phenomenal knives and they are two uh, cornerstones in my collection. They're just amazing pieces made by an amazing company here in the United States. And yeah, like I said, I can't say enough good things about the Atom. So to sum it up, like I already said, thin, slicey, really stylish. You can really customize this to look any way you want between the anodizing options with the liners, the uh, thumb studs, the clip, scale swapping, O-rings, whatever it might be. You can really make this knife unique to you. And to have an American-made product that is such high quality at a really good price too. These come in under $200 which is amazing for USA made with these materials. And it's just just a great knife. It's, it's hard to put into words until you've experienced it at least once, but it fills the hand just right. It carries perfectly. It cuts super well. And there's not a bad thing to say. Yeah, that's uh, I guess that's going to be it. Um, I'm going to throw some pictures in here at the end. Um, I may sprinkle some in throughout. I've taken a lot of pictures of this knife over the last year. A lot of them that I'm pretty proud of. Um, some of which are on the TRM site, which I've never been given anything or paid for pictures or anything like that. If you take a nice picture, just send Marianne an email. And uh, there's a chance it ends up on the site. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to let a little slideshow play here. Uh, maybe with music. I don't, I don't know. I don't know the copyright laws with YouTube all that well. So probably just in silence here. I'm going to let some pictures roll by 
And uh, if you want to hang around and look at those, by all means, go for it. But if not, thank you guys for watching. As always, really appreciate all the support. And uh, yeah, if you get the chance to pick up one of these guys or anything else made by TRM, don't pass it up. All right, you guys have a good one. Take care.